Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles. Here today to show you a really beautiful, I don't even know where to start, it's a 1968 Century Coronado. This is the last year of the wooden boats. And this one's extra rare because it has the sliding target top. These windows slide open and the top unlatches and slides back. This boat was meticulously restored. I've got the guy's phone number that did the work and his contact information. And it was done for a, basically a collector. He had a huge car collection. This boat was a boat that he used. He had a place on Eagle Mountain Lake in Fort Worth. And it was part of the Paul Andrews estate. Beautifully restored interior. They even stamped the vinyl with the Century logo. All stainless steel polished fixtures. Dual exhaust. That is the uh, air exhaust for the uh, engine compartment. It's got the Century logo tie down. A little vent here in the back, a nice ladder. It's a later model Roadmaster trailer. But you can just see the, the detail on this boat. It's really show quality. The hard top, all the uh, metal is stainless and it's all highly polished. This is the air intake for the engine compartment. And these are little deals you can grab onto. Nice grab handle. There's a, an owner's manual in the front seat. These have a regular truck steering box on them. It doesn't have the cable set up. And you see boats like this up in Michigan. You see them at Lake Tahoe. It's truly a classic. It's got the dual air horns, the center spotlight that's controlled from the dash, and then a tie down point on the front as well. These flags are basically art. You can just see the, the quality of this boat. And when they ordered this boat new, they checked all the boxes. You could get various engines, a Chrysler 383, you could get a Ford FE 390, you could get a 427. But let me show you the box that they checked, which is pretty, pretty interesting. They got the premium Chrysler 440 which is a big Mopar V8 with a dual quad setup. And the conservative horsepower rating from Chrysler Marine was 335 horsepower. The transmission is a velvet drive. And you can just see, again, the, the workmanship on this boat. It is just Boat art. <laughs> the interior, they didn't cut any corners. The floor is a textured rubber. Got pockets on the back of the seats. It's got the wood dash. The rear view concave mirror for checking out your skiers. This is the Chrysler Marine service manual. And when the boat was restored, the motor was freshened up. And again, the gentleman that owned the boat is a pretty wealthy car collector. Just want to show you how this works. It's pretty slick. If you're in a cold area, yeah, and rainstorms come up. It's pretty nice to be able to slide the target top. Real nice stainless steel latches. It's kind of a two-handed deal. I think you gotta lift up on this glass to slide it back, but it does slide back. Real nice vinyl. Again, first class. He wanted the logos to be stamped into the vinyl just like they were from the factory. So we located a guy that had the stamps. 
and had it done. It's got interior lights that come on at nighttime. It runs beautifully. It's been stored with race fuel just to keep the ethanol from doing its damage to the carburetors. But it starts right up. We're going to put it back on the water and do a, a nice video. We actually have a, a gentleman with a drone. They're going to fly above it. So that should be fun. But the quality of this boat is just really insane. Century made some nice, nice boats. And the gentleman that restored the boat, he did it correct and he did it good. The bottom has been sealed, so you can take it to the lake, put it in the water, use it, take it back out. You don't have to let it sit for three or four days or a week, like a lot of wooden boats, and wait for the wood to swell to keep it from leaking. Just gonna walk around it a little bit more. We're gonna offer this boat on bring a trailer, but you won't have to bring a trailer because it has a trailer. Somebody's going to get a really classic, beautiful Coronado made by Century Boats. But you can look these up online. There's a lot of history and a lot of people love the timeless styling and design. If you go up to Lake Michigan, you'll see stuff like this up there. But thanks for looking, thanks for your time. Happy bidding on Bring a Trailer. Somebody's gonna get a beautiful piece of boat art. That's what I call it. It's gonna be sitting in our showroom until we have the pleasure of going on a leg test. Check out all that stainless steel. There's a German Shepherd that's not happy with me. Yeah, this is a beauty, absolute beauty. But thanks for looking, thanks for your time. I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails. Good luck on your bids. Somebody's gonna get a truly fine example of a Century Coronado from a real enthusiast that had a car collection of over 100 cars. And this was his play pretty. This particular gentleman, I won't go into a lot of details, but one of his cars won the Pebble Beach Very Top Award. It was kind of a lifetime achievement, something he always wanted to go out there and compete, and they actually won. So he's, he's a guy that's very discerning, and on his personal stuff, he likes it to be as good as it can be. Money was no object. It was all about the quality. But again, thanks for looking. Thanks for your time. I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails and hope to shake the hand of the man that buys this beautiful boat. <laughs>